Well, good morning and welcome to another episode of the vlog. As you can see, I'm joined again by Jack the Carp Dog, so you can imagine I'm just down on my little local club lake. Jack's been through his surgery and his eyes really starting to recover, but he has to be monitored for the next sort of five days. So this will probably be my last session down here for a while. Started off down in peg two um, about half six this morning. The wind was just battering in there and I just didn't sense that the fish we're going to be held up there so i moved back down to peg six which is the only stretch of of water you'll see uh, in the video hopefully shortly it's yeah. the only stretch of water that is calm compared to the wind battering down so we're off the back of the wind really i know yesterday there was gusts to about 45 50 mile an hour the reason i'm out today is the fact that the pressure last night dropped down to 977 i think it's about 985 at the minute so it's good for some bait on the bottom with it moving towards spring or what i would call sort of spring time a, a bit more bait has been introduced than, than, than what i usually have nice. i suffered a hook pull within the first sort of five six minutes of having a rig out and i think the issue was just with that set of snags down there, you have to really bully the fish out to stop them them getting into it. And I probably give it too much stick initially and have pulled the hook, but that's just one of those things. I would rather suffer a hook pull than a fish tethered up uh, around uh, a leader in line in there. So we're just here again as usual till tomorrow morning. As I've said in the previous vlogs, we can stick the bivvy up over here. We're not breaking any regulations. Um, it's nice to do so and I'll be away first thing in the morning so we'll see what happens and I'll keep you posted throughout the rest of today. Cheers. It must be the day of the hook pull. I literally said to myself it was time to refresh the rods. They've been out about two and a half hours and generally in those snags it, it's kind of inching yourself closer to a point where you know that it's safe enough to land those fish and that's what I was about to do. Reel in the two rods to move them. I was standing over the pod when the right hand rod went off and I managed to get the fish well clear of the snags but then I think just carrying on bullying that fish out of the snags i'd give it too much stick closer under the rod tip a real rookie error and uh, it's come off it wasn't anything very big you know a small enough little uh, common it was when it hit the surface but it shows that the fish are visiting the spot so i'm still confident enough that something could happen so we'll give it till about four o'clock half four and we'll do redo the rods for the evening it's around about 1 30 now and it, it was about 11 when i'd done the rods earlier so put in another sort of handful of bait just to top up the spot and that's literally what i'm doing every time i'm putting the rig back onto the spot i'm putting another handful or so of bait maybe tonight as we go into the evening i'll put a bit more in last week we had a couple of bream visit during the night and i think it was hard to get back on to the the actual spot that we we're fishing hopefully tonight we can be a bit more accurate with the the, the baiting approach but I, I am disappointed but at least i know that the bait is working rig wise i've had a lot of fish on those rigs it is a stiff section of boom it is quite a lot of metal on the hook work and it is a three and a quarter pound test curve rod maybe playing the fish a bit lighter when i got it out of the snags would have been better or it could be a case that the fish just wasn't very well hooked from that perspective i'm thinking maybe do i need to revisit the the rigs that i'm using and try something different but at least I am getting somewhere 
and hopefully uh, during this vlog and during this session we'll manage to, to, to pick something up but we'll keep plugging away and see what happens and I'll keep you posted as we go into this evening. We'll look again at rigs and bait tactics later on in the video but again nothing unusual compared to what we've done on previous sessions so you'll probably see much of a muchness unless I decide throughout um, today that I am going to change what we're doing but well, we'll wait and see what happens. Well, I was just getting ready to bring the rod back in and literally it's ramped off the left hand rod with this lovely uh, little mirror, probably about 12 pound or so, but a really great start to the session. I'm going to get her back because she's been out a minute or two here and get the rod back in position. Happy days. I thought I'd come and do a checkup after having that mirror earlier. I literally have had a bite to eat and put the rods back out for this evening. Back on the same spots. I've already had a couple of liners on the left hand rod, the rod the fish came off. Again, tonight, fishing them further back from the actual snag that I was initially fishing to give myself time to get out from the bivy. I, I don't really have much form on this peg myself for evening bites, although Speaking to other anglers, it seems to be as light levels fall and right through to the early hours of the morning that the fish seem to be feeding. So I suppose there is still a chance. I have backed further off those spots, so the confidence isn't as high that I will get something through the night. What I will tend to do, as you've seen me before, is get up at first light, put the rods back onto the spots that I was on before and put them back out. And that's basically what we're going to do. It'll be a quick pack up in the morning and away home and that'll be me sorted. So I'll keep you posted throughout tonight and later what I will do as I promised is I'll show you the bait and rigs that we've been using on this session. Well good evening. As I said to you earlier the rods are back out for this evening and it's looking absolutely spot on for the night and as promised I'd brought the rig of choice and again it's just presented as a wafter it's that little uh, Ronnie style rig with a swivel hook with a swivel hook and um, I have a bit of fluorocarbon there 0 0.53 fluorocarbon crimped and an anti-tangle sleeve and I have two blobs of putty along that just to keep it to the deck because I'm obviously paranoid that Sometimes with the odd kink in the fluorocarbon it might be lifting and the fish might be spooking off it. But that is the rig of choice. And hopefully that can be seen. But that's what we're using. And again, nothing different. I have my bag of the Formula Plum, which I've got good mileage out of. I've 10 kilo of that, but I have put in a bit of extra bait today, um, as I say, probably when I say a bit of extra bait, I've probably put in about three quarters of a kilo, it's not really been that much, it's just obviously I'm used to fishing over the winter, either single hook baits or little small mesh bags of, of pellet and stick mix and things like that, so we have started to, to add a bit more bait in as the fish wake up and I'm confident something might happen, maybe not tonight, but definitely at first light. And it's all about using your eyes, getting up first thing in the morning, checking the water, having to see if you can see any fish. I started down in peg two. The wind was hacking down there. It just didn't seem like it was right. I must have fished there for about 45 minutes, not even an hour, to be honest. I came walking up here, stood in the peg after reeling the rods in, obviously. And within the space of maybe 10 minutes of just standing here, 
I looked out and I seen a little common come up twice and it wasn't that big, just a small fish, but it was enough for me to realize that there was slack water here, it was calm, the fish were on the back of the wind, it was a cold wind pushing down and lo and behold it did pay off. I had obviously two lost takes, one definitely when I had it three quarters of the way across and it wasn't a very big fish and then that fish you seen earlier on in the, the vlog. So. To be honest, regardless of what happens from now, it's not a blank, so we go home happy. But it would be nice, obviously, for the vlog and just for for my own peace of mind and, and joy of angling, it would be nice to see something else come off. But that last fish with that rig was absolutely nailed. You know, that fish was going nowhere. The mouth wasn't the cleanest on the fish. It has been caught a few times. I don't know about recently. It didn't look like there was any recent hook holes. There was a few bits of scarring and stuff around the, the, the scissors in the mouth where the fish had obviously been caught there and dragged through goodness knows what. But in saying that, the actual fish itself, a few scars and wounds that were healed, but a, quite a clean fish to be honest and a nice fish. I'm not sure whether it is one of the newer stocked fish or one of the original fish to be honest. It looked more like an original fish. It fought really well as well, so it was a a good scrap. We're going into this evening with anticipation and excitement that something might happen. If not, it'll be a good night's sleep and me and Jack will be toasty here in the bivvy. Last night, what a contrast. I mean, the wind was absolutely hacking through at 50 odd mile an hour. Tonight, it is lovely, flat calm along the water. There's still a slight uh, rippling breeze blowing down the other side of the lake. We're still on the, the back of the wind where the rigs are as well. So. It's all to play for and let's hope something actually ramps off. But for me, it's going to be a case, get the kettle back on, have a coffee, sit and maybe watch a movie as the light levels fall. I might stand out to see if I can hear anything, but to be honest, with where those rods are positioned and those snags and the fact that I've had fish, the chances of me moving them are unlikely unless I get something. Now, fingers crossed, it's not like last Thursday. I hadn't said much on the vlog about it, but I was absolutely pestered uh, by Bream. And it's not a problem, like I don't mind catching the bream, it's the fact that when you're catching them up in stepped up gear, there's just no joy in it whatsoever. And it's the case of having to get out in the cold, get your rig back into position, whether I'm using the boat or whether I'm casting. Uh, at that time of night, to be honest, I'll probably clip up to the spot and, and cast it to where I, where I know. It depends whether I want to put a bit more bait out or not, but hopefully you'll see me again throughout the course of this evening. If you don't, you'll know that's because we haven't caught too much or have nothing else to really show you to the camera. And we'll get the rods back out at first light in the morning and really get an opportunity for another bite before we go. But I'm hopeful that something might happen. So here's hoping. Well, good morning. It's about seven o'clock and the rods are not that long redone, probably about 15 minutes. I was just sort of watching the water this morning, waiting for something to happen. It really looked good for a, for a run. And when it got past that little window where I sort of thought that the, the rig shouldn't be moved, I decided to bring them in, refresh the hook baits and put them back out onto the spots. Again, as I'm only here for another hour or so, I thought literally I would just put in a handful of crumb boilie over the two rods and that would be it. So they're fishing again and hopefully while I'm doing the slow pack down here, uh, something might happen like it did last week. Literally in the fleeting seconds, the, the rod went. Uh, unfortunately last week I'd, I'd missed that bite, but we can't complain, we had that nice little mirror. So we'll see what the, the morning brings as we get packed up, ready to go. But it's been a good session. Probably the last I'll be here for a little while, so it was nice to get something on the last session as well and something more substantial than, than previous. So let's wait and see what today brings. Well, again, a familiar sight. You see me sitting on the bed chair. There's a few people just arriving down looking spots, so I'm going to make a quick exit this morning. I'm literally just going to pack up the last few bits and pieces, bring the rods in, and that's me good to go. Bed chair always goes last because Jack the carp dog can sleep in there happily till I'm ready to go and he's not annoying anybody or getting distressed sitting in the car waiting for me. So it's been a great session, uh, possibly the last I'm going to be here for a while. So I'm just savouring the atmosphere. As summer uh, weather starts to set in, then this place will become like Margate Pier and be rammed. So 
it's time to, to move on to the other things and back on to the, the bigger carp society waters. So thanks very much for watching this vlog. If you have enjoyed it, please do like the video, subscribe to the channel. There's lots of content coming over the next couple of weeks to months. And thank you very much to everyone who subscribes for your support. It really means a lot. Over the last couple of years, I've been privileged to, to really see people watching the videos and uh, the feedback and comments that I've been getting have been generally positive. So thank you for that. And I'll see you on the next one.